Hello guys and good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Right now I'm ready to go downstairs to join the conference sessions. It will start in a while. I just had my breakfast. I couldn't vlog for you guys uh, during the breakfast because it was kind of uncomfortable for people to have camera around. So right now I want to show you this t-shirt. Look at this. Climate change conference 2016 okay so let me show you that how's the weather outside mm. okay so it's the it's actually the time to go downstairs so i'll talk to you guys when uh, i reach there and when the session starts so wait for that for all of the participants attendance is mandatory if you don't find your attendance on the sheet you won't be given certificate so please be in the session thank you selfie morning no so it's actually video really morning <laughs> 22 is this college is contemporaneous with the college I guess education I totally forgot <laughs> so right now we are heading towards our uh, respective sessions the sessions that we sign up for for uh, inclusive education on climate change session so uh, I'm going on education like inclusive education and climate change. I guess it is. I don't know. Nurma. Session two. Nurma. 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 Session two. Are you going to that? No. No. Let's go sir. One group. Smart space. Okay. Okay. So see you then. We are going to have. Okay. Limited space. Limited space. Need to get there. No, we have already signed up. We signed up there. It's okay. It's not picture. It's video. <laughs> so I would just take a message from Tom. Okay guys, so I'm going to talk to Tom and request him to give me a short message. Hi. Excuse me. How are you, Danish? Hi, Danish. Okay, so I just need a short message for my vlog. Okay. okay. So what would you like to say about this conference? My name is Tom Montgomery. I represent the United States Embassy here in Islamabad as a cultural officer. And this conference, uh, Changing Minds for Climate Change, brings together U.S. exchange alumni from across the entire South Asia region and East Asia region to talk about a very, uh, a very uh, important problem that affects all of us. And I'm really excited to be here. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay guys, I hope you liked this. So right now I'm getting late to join my session. So I'll just hurry up and move to my room. And then I'll see you guys there. Hi. How are you? Hello guys. So welcome to this session. The session was uh, titled is Inclusive Climate Change Education. Uh, engaging uh, diverse communities so right now I have too many uh, great people here but um, I would like to talk to Mr. Ayub Kutub. Uh, he is the environmental science activist and he wrote a national conservation strategy 30 years ago so let's have a message from him. Assalamu alaikum sir. So what we'd like to tell our uh, young people? I, I would like to tell them that uh, young people you face a very major challenge um, of surviving on planet earth and a component of that challenge is climate change but really uh, it's a part of a very much larger challenge of sustainable development which uh, has been misused uh, as a catchphrase for everything but it really means uh, 
at its bottom a lifestyle uh, that provides for the needs of the current generation while not destroying the opportunities for the coming generations to live reasonable lives. Uh, this uh, concept of sustainable development requires, yes, uh, education, uh, technological development, a change in institutions, how, how we run and manage things, uh, governance, but, but above all, but above all, it, it requires a, a rethink uh, of values, of human values, some of which are uh, very old values that we inherited uh, from our parents uh, or, or from our religions, uh, including uh, the, the uh, values for self-restraint, the, the values for understanding and controlling uh, your own impulses, uh, for after understanding yourself, exercising uh, empathy, uh, consideration for others, and as uh, human powers expand and our impacts are felt even the impacts of ordinary people are felt across the globe and into the depth of the oceans, expanding our concept of what is our neighbor or who is our neighbor. In fact, our neighborhood now extends across the globe and we have to be responsible, every one of us, uh, for our impacts. Um, for, for, this, for this challenge, uh, it is important to develop your skills, to, to develop imagination, creativity, uh, critical thinking skills, um, uh, to be able to innovate, uh, to uh, address the challenges that your generation and the subsequent ones are going to face. Um, I already fear that your generation and the next 40 are going to curse my generation for the damage that we've already done to this planet and to the possibilities of your life. Uh, so at the end, uh, I extend my apologies on, 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 on behalf of my generation. Thank you. thank you, thank you so much. So this was Mr. Ayub Kutab Sahab, and such a beautiful word. So I would, uh, I will just go and talk to um, Dr. Najam Kushid, uh, um, uh, the the person who delivered the lecture on today's topic. So I'll talk to him in a while. Hello, guys. So I have Dr. Najam Kushid Sahab right with me. Uh, he's so soft-spoken person and I just love the way he talks to us and we would like uh, to request him to give a short message to our youth about climate. Thank you very much. Uh, my message is that uh, actually we have to educate our next generation. The next generation must be more aware about the environmental issues, about the climate change and they are the custodian of our future. So the best way is to educate them, give uh, give them something, facilitate them, help them for our better future. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, guys. So uh, wait for other speakers to uh, give you messages, and don't just listen to messages, but also act on them. Thank you so much. And here in Pakistan, China Especially to all the international participants, also from our 
neighborhood. I believe it's uh, from Sri Lanka also, from Bangladesh, from Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Myanmar, China. To our friends from Bangladesh, I would say I've studied in Dhaka in the good old days. I said, Kamara Sundo Bhalo. And Sri Lanka, I had my honeymoon in Sri Lanka, so I'm very good happy Sri Lanka. And of course, so with the region, uh, with Afghanistan, we have a special bonding. And I'm very grateful to the Embassy of the United States of America, especially the Pakistan uh, America University Alumni Network, and uh, especially Ambassador David Hale and Christine Lam. I would say when I was studying in the Georgetown University School of Foreign Service in Washington, D.C., those were the best years of my life. I was staying with a Catholic couple, and I saw the American people in their best, the essence of America. The war, welcoming, large-hearted America, an inclusive America. And I do hope, despite any political changes, that essence of America remains, inshallah. <laughs> Climate change is an issue which knows no boundaries, no borders. I just came this morning from Lahore. My father is there, so I, I spent the weekend with him. And I could see the smog in Lahore. And that same smog is in Delhi also. So you can see the issues that are affecting people across the boundaries are similar, especially in climate change. And in Pakistan, on the 77th across the world, she was the also first timer of Chakshi Sir in Pakistan, which was later named to Samina Beek after her. Everyone, please welcome Samina Beek. working as energy and uh, policy program advisor at USAID Islamabad. So he's right now with us. Let's have a message from him. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam and thank you for having me. Uh, my message is that uh, the first step that you can take as you volunteer for uh, climate change is increasing the awareness. The, the things which uh, governments can do, but you as individuals can still make a difference. And as uh, basic is the uh, information so spreading that it is a real problem it's a man-made problem and it can be fixed that's the biggest takeaway thank you so much thank you thank you so much so guys now i have another session on uh, called ideas lib so i'm heading to that and then i'll record for you guys so wait for that <laughs> can we have your attention <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Simon. Sit down, guys. Sit down. Guys, sit down, please.
guys, so I have someone special right here. So meet her. Someone is going to get me up. Take it. Yes, it. Yes, it. Okay guys, so she's Saida Akhtar and she was with um, us, she was in our group in the USA and let's say hi to her. So right now I'm in Dhamaniku. <coughs> it's a recreational place, a hilltop from where you can see the whole Islamabad city in the background. You can see the lights actually right now because uh, it is dark and I'm recording with my cell phone so it doesn't have the flashlight but I think it's good view. I'll try my best to show you from that point as well. <laughs> 